What's up everybody, NT Certified here. Today is Friday, I just came from GameStop and I thought to myself, I've picked up so much stuff over the past couple months and it's been so long since I've done a video game pickup video. I mean, it's probably been a couple months since I've, since I've done a, a video game pickups video and I have so much stuff to show you guys that I'm gonna have to break it up into portions. So I have a lot of stuff sitting next to me and it's like a big mix of a lot of different things. So we're just gonna go ahead and we're just gonna hop right on into it. And we got some retro stuff, we have some uh, like video game add-ons, figures, and then we got some games. So let's go ahead and let's get into it, guys. And we're back. So before we begin, do not forget to subscribe to the channel, become a part of the Certified Club. We, me included, would love to have you. Now, let's start with some retro, shall we? Let's start with some Sega Genesis. I went retro game shopping, I'm gonna say maybe two or three weeks ago to my favorite uh, all-time toys, my favorite uh, retro toy shop, and picked up a couple games. So let's go ahead and let's take a look at the games that we have. So the first one uh, is a Sega title, and it's called Flashback. Okay, so I didn't know what this game was about initially when I picked it up, but I thought it looked pretty cool. So apparently, reading the cover, it says, Flashback, the quest for identity, the CD-ROM game in a cartridge. So upon doing a little bit more research, it is a platformer, as most games on the Sega were platformers because everything was 2D. But this one is a little bit deeper than a platformer. You can walk around and you can speak to people. Uh, you can buy a fake ID to go to Earth and then get chased by robot cops and try to uncover the mysteries that are going on <laughs> in society so this really stood out to me uh, as a Sega title and it was $14.99 at the retro game store so I'm not sure if that was a good price or not but that's another Sega game in my collection next up we have Mick and Mac Global Gladiators I have no clue who the heck Mick and Mac was but I said for five bucks, what the heck, why not just pick up the game and add another game into my collection. So it reminds me of a ripoff of Ghostbusters, but it looks like a glob instead on the front. So Mick and Mac are these two kids, and this is another platformer on the Sega Genesis. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it because I haven't done research on that particular game. Now we're getting into the good stuff. This is freaking Road Rash, people. Road Rash on the Sega Genesis. One of my favorite game franchises from the retro era was Road Rage because I never had a copy of my own on Genesis or the Super Nintendo. I don't think I got a Road Rage game until N64, but I loved how I could like ride a motorcycle and kick and whip somebody with a chain and knock them into a, a wall or another car or pedestrian or a stop sign. Like that's amazing. So that's Road Rash. And I even picked up Road Rash 2. Now for some reason this case is like uber thick compared to Road Rash 1. And I open it up and there's nothing extra in it. It's just the manual and the game. But Road Rash 2 kind of just builds on Road Rash 1. It's still an amazing game. I actually think it's better than Road Rash 1. Beauty and the Beast. One of the classic licensed platform games on the Sega Genesis. This is what I miss about video gaming. You, you No longer can you go and, and see a licensed video game for a popular movie anymore. They, they just don't do it anymore. I mean, Beauty and the Beast, The Lion King, Aladdin, 
uh, Little Mermaid, they even had Barbie games. Like all these games were amazing back in the day. This bad boy was 15 bucks too. The last Sega Genesis game, this is Jungle Strike. Now I actually watched a review for Jungle Strike on another YouTube channel a little bit, a little, little while back. And I can't remember what channel it was, but what I saw of the game and the way that they described the game uh, made me want to buy it. Now, this is not something that I'd buy uh, if I was like online shopping. It was just something that I saw and I'm like, hey, there's, you know, Jungle Strike. Um, and, and I just went ahead and, and I picked it up. And I mean, it's, it's not the best game. It's not the best game. From what I remember and me seeing, it's not the best game. But all of those like army style shooters from the SNES time and the Sega Genesis time were just amazing games. And this is not like an on the rail shooter. This is like a free shooting game and it's overhead view. So it's different from like the, the regular shoot 'em ups that you saw on the SNES and the Genesis at the time. So really happy that I have this. Getting into some figures. Let's get into some figures. So this has eluded me for the last couple weeks and GameStop told me they didn't have it. Well, guess what? I got the bad boy now. This is Detective Pikachu Amiibo, the uber huge Amiibo, probably the biggest one that they ever will make. I don't know how this is gonna hang up on my wall with my 3M strips because it's so freaking huge, but this is amazing. I have not played Detective Pikachu. Have you guys played Detective Pikachu? If you have, what do you think about it? What do you think about Pikachu speaking is a, is a much better question. I still can't get over it. It still feels like super, super weird to me. So now PlayStation has their own version of Amiibo figures, but they don't have in-game functionality. They're called Totaku figures. And I pre-ordered all of the Totaku figures. So I have the ones that are out so far. So this is Crash Bandicoot. And if you look at these figures, they look just like Amiibos, just with PlayStation characters. And they're really, really nicely detailed. Like, I'm, I'm really, really happy with these figures. So this is Crash Bandicoot, and on the back, they actually have, like, the character profiles. Like, it has their name, their first appearance, and their date of release, and their backstory. So, Crash is the first one that I picked up. I also picked up Evan from uh, Nino Kuni. I did not pre-order Evan, but he just happened to be on the shelf at GameStop because they can sell me whatever they want at GameStop because I just buy whatever. Uh, I did pre-order Parappa the Rapper. First time I've ever played Parappa the Rapper was a couple weeks ago on my PS4. I downloaded it and I absolutely sucked at it. But this is actually a really nice figure, and he's nice and flat, just like the actual game itself. Next up, this is the FX350 from Wipeout. And I actually purchased two of these because I plan to do another in-depth video on these Totaku figures in the future, and I'm actually gonna open the FX350 when I do that video. So I have two of those on hand. Next up is uh, Sackboy from Little Big Planet. Now, I am not a big fan of Little Big Planet. I know a lot of people love the aspect of having to think through and solve puzzles and build. I just can't get with it. It's the same reason I can't play games like Minecraft and stuff like that. But I had to get the figure because he is a well-known, you know, PlayStation icon. Can we say he's an icon at this point? I think we can. But this is my second FX350. We're just gonna pass on that one. We have Jin Kazama from Tekken 7. I just picked him up today. About two hours ago, I picked up Jin from GameStop. I had him on pre-order. I just didn't know that he came out today. And the last one is Atreus from God of War 3. The game that was supposed to be on my doorstep today from Target.com and it has not come yet. It's like an hour and a half away from me still and I'm super upset 
because I can't play God of War on day one. But regardless, this is a really nice Totaku figure. Very, very happy to have it. And here comes my grand finale. I picked up two other items today because today was release date for a particular something. So let's go ahead and get into some Labo, shall we? This is Nintendo Labo. This is the robot kit. I cannot wait to jump into this bad boy this weekend. I actually went over to Target this morning and there was a Nintendo representative in the store. He had just set up the display. He's like, are you excited? I told him, yes. I said, how about everybody else? Are you seeing any excitement? Of course, he's like, oh yeah, you know, people are like super excited about it and all this stuff. He's like, it's gonna take you a couple hours to, to, set, to set this up. So my plan was to set this up this evening, but I'm not sure if I wanna spend the rest of my night putting together this robot kit. So also, I picked up the variety kit. This actually pre-ordered from GameStop and this is the one that I'm probably going to play first, is the variety kit. I wanna to put together the piano, as everybody else does, but I also wanna do uh, the RC car, I wanna do the fishing. I wanna do everything in the variety kit, and I'm super happy to, to finally have this in my hands to put it together, see how it feels, and see how it holds up uh, to normal wear and tear. Uh, I have a plan of hopping on Twitch tomorrow and assembling this on live stream on IRL. So we'll see. And I'll time myself to see how long it takes to assemble each one of these items. And I may even do the robot kit on Sunday. We'll see. But those are my most recent game and game related pickups. Uh, super excited, not sure where I'm gonna put all this stuff in this room, but I gotta find space for it somewhere, right? So, thank you for watching, guys. Did you guys pick up anything special today? Anything new today? Let me know in the comments below, and I will see you guys again soon. As always, this is NT Certified. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to like, comment, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. See you guys soon. Peace.